Hi friends, um, <clears throat> in this tutorial uh, I'm planning on, actually I'm planning on covering, uh, creating a few tutorials on how to create a simple port scanner uh, using Python. So this is the, going to be the first of many tutorials and before I start I just want to say that if you have any questions or recommendations or suggestions or if you want me to cover a specific topic, uh, topic uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below. So for this tutorial, uh, well, let's get it started. So I have a CentOS operating system running. Let's check the IP address of it. Uh, if you do an IF config, you can see that uh, it has an IP address of 192.168.142.133. Is our CentOS box. So we have another one. We have a Zubuntu. Let's check its IP address. So if you type an IF config, it is 135. 135 it is our Zubuntu. So another one, let's check our Kali. If you type in IF config, it has an IP address of 129. So 192, 168, 142, 129. So for this, this is the IP address. Now, how do we create a simple port scanner? So let's cd to the desktop and uh, let's create a file called port scanner.py now in order to create a simple port scanner the first thing that you need is um, import the uh, socket library or the module so if you type in import socket what it does is that it imports the socket uh, module once you import it what you do is you create a socket object so let's call it Sock and let's create this socket dot socket. So what this line this does is uh, creates an object by the name of sock and it places this socket method of uh, the socket. This is the socket method of the socket library or socket module. So this sock object holds the socket module of the socket. Uh, method uh, sorry the socket method of the socket module which is this one so in here um, the first thing now this object has a few uh, methods or a few uh, options that we can use uh, the first one that we are going to be using is that we are saying sock this is for the, na the name of this uh, object that we created this one and then in here we are saying dot connect so this we are saying use the connect method of the soft object and we are saying connect to let's type in the IP address of our CentOS box first so it is 192.168.142.133 so if we check our CentOS box in here we can see that 192.168.142.133 so this is the IP address of it after that we mention in the port so we are right now using port 22 which is the SSH port so in here if we type in the service sshd status we can see that uh, it is currently running it's active and running this line says so in here we are connecting to this host and using port number 22 now let's create another variable called banner so what this uh, variable holds is that we are saying sock which is the name of the object that we created and we're saying receive 4096 so what this line does is that it says the it uses the receive method of the sock object which is uh, uh, which is that once you connect to it uh, receive up to 4096 bytes so when you connect to a service it sends you automatically their banner so what you're saying is that when you connect to it whatever they sent just uh, uh, store 4,096 bytes of it so that is held in the banner uh, variable so and then what we do is we are saying print the banner variable and once we are done 
you're closing it so what it does is that it closes the socket that you're creating tick of a socket is like a port that it opens the system to communicate with the uh, remote host now let's save this file and let's just check it once again uh, import socket sock is equal to socket dot socket sock dot connect 192.168.142 this sock dot receive uh huh it looks good to me so what we do is let's run it let's run the python tree port scanner port, uh, port the pi so once we do you can see that this is what we receive when we connect uh, to our CentOS 7 box you can see that it is running active and running with SSH is running so when we connect to it it sends us this a string so it tells us that it is running SSH 2.0 open SSH 6.6.1 so it gives us a way to find out what uh, service that they are running so this is a good way of finding out what service the other the end host or the other host are running because once we find out what services they on the are running on the other side then uh, we can check if there are any vulnerabilities or not uh, for this particular version of it if there is this uh, we can exploit it so this is how you can find the banner let's check on zubuntu also in here um so if we Let's check first of all our, our service status. We can see that it is active and running. Its IP address was 192.168.142.135. So, what we do is uh, we open our file, this one, the one that we created earlier for the scanner. This time, let's change its IP address to. Uh, Ubuntu was 135 I think yeah 135 so let's save it let's check it again once so yeah it is looks okay to me and run it again so now if you run port scanner with pi this time you can see that it when we are running it against our uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu it receives this banner it is saying that it's running SSH 2.2 Open SSH 7.2 P2 and it is an Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu 2.4. So what it does is that it identifies the service and at the same time it's also identifying the what operating system is on the other side. So this is a quick and uh, easy way of uh, creating a port scanner. Uh, however, if you type in something like port scanner or let's sorry, let's open it and you're let's say connecting to some other port like let's say port number 25 for SMTP and we do it and we run it and here you can see that we receive this nasty error so in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fine tune it even more so that you don't receive this kind of errors because uh, it's kind of annoying and it doesn't look good so this is it for this tutorial guys in this tutorial i showed you how to do a, a create a simple port scanner using python identify the services and always that is running on the other side so in the next tutorial i will be teaching you guys how to make it even more better by uh, so that we don't get this error these lines nasty lines in here so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions you don't understand it feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one